All right, good morning. Russia and Ukraine still nowhere near a resolution after a third round of talks. And the human cost of the war is rising at an alarming rate. Thousands killed, two million people fleeing the violence. Let's go live now to Lviv, Ukraine, where CNN's Atika Schubert joins us with the very latest developments. Atika, uh, let's begin first with some of the civilian casualties because the numbers, uh, depending on where you're getting them as a source, uh, they, they are all, all over the map. So what are you hearing on your end? Well, the United Nations says they have confirmed hundreds of civilian casualties, uh, including at least 20 children uh, that have died. Uh, but they say that the number is likely to be much, much higher. And we know that's the case because we have reports from a number of uh, cities and towns from mayors saying the shelling has been so bad where they are that they haven't been able to go out and actually collect the dead. Um, so I think we're likely to see the number skyrocket in the next few days. Um, the good news, however, is that there is right now an evacuation of a town in northeastern Ukraine underway, the town of Sumy. And they have been bombarded with attacks over the last few days. In fact, last night they had an attack that, according to the Ukrainian authorities, killed 21 people, including two children. But today, there is a temporary ceasefire that is allowing thousands of residents to evacuate. And so far, that ceasefire is holding. In fact, the first residents have now arrived safely to central Ukraine, and they will move on to safer locations here in western Ukraine. So that is the good news. But, you know, we are still expecting, unfortunately, that civilian um, death toll to, to rise considerably. Atika, when we talk about these corridors, of course, there are, people are weary of them. Uh, there is still very much a fear that, um, that Russia will not uh, live up to what they've agreed to within some of these talks here. Does that still exist, you know, when you've been talking to some residents on, on, on the fears that are there? I think there's still very little trust in the Russian ability to hold a ceasefire. However, you know, over the weekend we saw two collapse, but today's ceasefire does seem to be holding. It's the first one that does seem to, to be holding in any, in, or, in any sort of way. But it is also very small. This is a one town, one route, uh, and it's the only route that both the Ukrainian and Russian military could agree on to allow vac it, residents to evacuate. So we will need to see not just one town, but several more, I think, before residents really feel secure enough um, to trust the evacuation routes are safe. Um, hopefully, with the success of what we've had today, and keep in mind, it's the International Red Cross that's on the ground facilitating the evacuation. If we can continue to see that, if the ICRC is confident that it can get residents out, then we might start, start to see this broadening out. I think what we're also likely to see as a result, however, is that we're going to get even more people, even more refugees trying to cross the border. That number is already up to 2 million, uh, and the U.N. believes it could double in the next few days. It's a staggering number, but seeing the amount of people trying to flee the fighting, it, I wouldn't be surprised if we get to that number very soon. Atika, we've got about 30 seconds left with you. I want to ask you about Lviv, where you are right now, and the struggle for hundreds of thousands of people to, to get the very basics needs like food. Uh, what does that look like? Well, here, fortunately, there is enough, but it's there are 200,000 people evacuees now here, and the city's mayor says it is strained to capacity. It's going to need more food, more emergency supplies, and there's only one way to bring it in from the port border in Poland. So they are hoping to get more aid in very soon. All right, that is CNN's Atika Schubert live for us in Lviv, Ukraine. Thank you for your time. Be well, be safe.